Hey, it's Ellie Hart from TC Helicon, and this is the Perform VK video manual. So we've got our mic stand mounted, multi effects processor mounted onto our mic stand. Whew, got it out. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start plugging stuff into it. So let's go over the back panel. We have our mic in, which I have located right here. So I've got that plugged into the mic down this beautiful blue XLR cable, and we're gonna put that right into the mic in. Next over, we have our instrument ins. So I've got this keyboard here. I've got my instrument in here. It's a quarter inch TRS cable. And I'm gonna put that into the top one. Uh, next is we have our instrument out. And this is what's gonna send our vocal mix and uh, instrument mix to the PA. So I'm using um, a little monitor speaker and I'm gonna send it to that, but you could also send it to um, a house PA uh, wherever it is that you're, you're sending your audio. So here we have this cable. You can see it's going all the way into the speaker through the uh, quarter inch jack. So we're just gonna plug that in right here to the left input. So that's your instrument out. Next here we have aux. This is an eighth inch jack input. So you can put a uh, iPad or an iPhone or any mobile device uh, you can even use it for an instrument if you don't have um, either MIDI or a quarter inch instrument out and you can put that into the aux there. Uh, the other thing that this aux in is really helpful for is um, if you want to do a metronome or a drum machine, lots of different options. Uh, we have another segment called um, aux audio. So there's a lot more information within that segment of this video playlist. So go check out that one for a little more info on that. Okay, and then we've got, um, it says pedal here. This is for a Switch 3 or a Switch 6 pedal that we sell separately. These are really great. Um, they allow you to trigger any of the effects on the Perform VK with your feet from the floor. So they're sold separately. There's a Switch 3 and the Switch 6 has six switches on it. So these come with a TRS cable, tip ring sleeve, very important that you either use the one in the box or if you need to replace it, make sure you get a TRS cable because it will not work with a TS cable. That goes in there onto the floor and this end goes into that pedal input. And we have our MIDI. So I'm gonna be using a MIDI signal from this keyboard, um, but you could also take MIDI from a laptop if you're using a DAW uh, or from a MIDI controller or whatever it is, MIDI in. As long as it's sending, this will be receiving. So I now have my MIDI and an aux and an instrument in. When using Harmony on this, just so that you know, it's always gonna prioritize MIDI and then instrument and then aux, okay? Next we have um, a USB port and that's for uh, doing your firmware update. Uh, you can also import um, some presets from our app on a mobile device. So you can plug that in for that. Or you can do um, USB audio uh, interfacing or recording with it as well. And that can be done through that USB. So very handy little uh, port. And then last but not least, we have our power, which I have here somewhere. So 12 volt power comes with it. And that just goes into the back there. And that also turns on the Perform VK, you can see it power cycling on there. Voila! We have power, we did it guys. So that's the Perform VK, all set up and ready to go. Um, if you have any questions, please throw those in the comments below. If you like this video, you found it helpful, throw a little thumbs up over there and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.